first of all you should have java 8 in your system to run selenium 3.0 3 plus i would say so you should have java 8 if you want to run selenium 3 plus okay you can verify whether you have java on uh, version 8 plus or not by going to command prompt and say java hyphen version and then see if you have the latest version of java or not if you don't have download it from the link provided right here and install that in your system and configure it second selenium 3.3.1 is mentioned right here but now the latest version is 3.5.3 .3. you can simply download the latest version whatever you get from the selenium uh, website okay uh, here it is talking about testng so we'll be talking about testng at the later point when we will be talking about unit testing framework so as of now you don't need to download it no need okay you don't need to download it just set up selenium and java in your system and make it ready because from now onwards we'll be writing the script on selenium now let's talk about the project setup steps so first create a new java project and give a name second create a new source folder and provide this uh, suitable name the source folder is automatically created so you don't need to worry about it just ignore right click on test source folder create a new package and provide a suitable name this test script so here we'll be going to create a new package we have already we already have a package that is called as selenium examples so we will use it right click on test source folder create a new folder and name it as resources right click on the project create a new folder and name it as lib so why they are calling it as resources and why they are calling it as lib let me tell you that so they are asking us to create two new folders in the project so by saying new folder give it a name resources in this resources we will be going to keep all our drivers that is chrome driver firefox driver all those drivers it is also to go, it is also asking me to create where it went okay it is also asking me to create one more folder that is called as lib okay so in this lib we'll be going to store all our selenium libraries okay so earlier how we set up so there are two ways to set up one is you're going to the project go to properties java build path add external jars and you select the libraries that you want to add okay the second one is you go to lib you don't go you, you just create a lib folder you go here copy the libraries paste it here inside this after pasting it doing the right click do the right click and say 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 where's that let's see i completely not here why i'm not getting that option you can try it right now if you like so download the libraries create a new folder right in this in your project by creating the folder you will get here lib and you can paste all your libraries right into this folder and then you can select the, your library do the right click and then you will get an option add to build path you can then add your libraries directly to your build path so how it helps it actually helps you to manage all your libraries at one project and it will be configured in your project how to add libraries into the lib folder just copy the library come here and paste it and done so here if i go to lib folder copy it and paste it and done it will be added or you can do the right click go to properties copy this path the location where this lib folder is present you can copy it paste it here and here you can paste your libraries this is also an option after that you select your libraries do the right click and there you will get an option add to build path okay and then the libraries will be added to the build path meanwhile i would suggest you to try yourself as well it will be there in your in your eclipse you won't you won't face any issues like i am facing so that's what we do uh, it is just that uh, we do create a library here so that we can maintain all the libraries in one folder in the same project 
instead of you know go and uh, explore libraries or search for the libraries uh rasika it's completely there is no difference you can use any way you can use any approach just that when you do the right click in the project and go to properties and uh, do add external jars then it is getting added from some different location but here you are creating a folder in your own project where you are working so you don't need to go here and there to search for the libraries that's it yes it goes to the reference library suraji uh, after you add it to the build path ka it is uh, you know adding it to the adding files to the reference library it is same no difference do the setup okay today itself so here you can see they have created a, a lib folder on top of that they have created two more folder that is one is source and one is test source is what that we actually get it there is no need to create test folder if there is a maven comes if you know build tool maven comes then you will see automatically all these architecture will be created it's by default comes when you work on maven okay this is how they are saying that your folder structure will look like this then they are asking us to add you know libraries so they are asking us to copy the downloaded selenium jar into the lib folder like i have shown you this one they are asking us to add the drivers in the resources folder so just add the drivers in the resources folder asking us to test add the test ng library just ignore for the time being will not be going to do that and here you can see that guys okay great abe uh, i hope you must be getting the build path option and add to build path by right clicking on the project so there are two ways like i have mentioned one is you select all the libraries and say build path add to build path or another way is add to external jar files so you can choose any way it's up to you if you don't have chrome and ie then install those browsers as well guys it's for you as well if you don't have ie and chrome just download them as well no surajit you don't require any github account to get the jaco driver you just what you need to do is go to jaco driver version and here you have windows zip file click on it and it will download the zip file for you and that's it done you don't need to create any kind of a you know any account and all that if you have an older version of firefox then install the latest version so that we can work on the latest version and uh, guys make sure that you have chrome ie and firefox because these are the main browser people uses and uh, we'll be working on all these browsers as well so this is how they are showing us that you know it has been added so they have maintained the resources in a package but we are maintaining it in a separate folder and it is always suggested to maintain your drivers in a folder you can for the time being you can ignore this the package okay so let's create this architecture of course i have the architecture correct so we have already created that and for in resources let's copy the jaco driver chrome driver and i driver as well so let's go to that uh, selenium resources so here i have stored all my library all my you know exes and libraries etc so here i need to add the jaco driver how to download the jaco driver i am repeating it once again just take a look here for the jaco driver click on this version click on it you will get this page go down you will get a zip file here click on it and download it and unzip it download it and unzip that that's it second chrome driver click on the latest version 2.31 let it open you will you will get chrome driver click on the zip file it will get downloaded and then unzip it and that's it after that ie driver so for ie driver just move your cursor up move your cursor up and here you can see there is a different section completely internet explorer driver server okay so click on 64 bit windows ie when you click on it it will start downloading the ie driver server and done so all the three drivers are downloaded and now you can unzip them and after unzipping you can add them to your resource folder so jaco driver copy this paste it in resource folder go back 
let's see chrome drivers this is my chrome driver let me go inside copy this again paste it here control v going back internet explorer driver server open this copy it paste it and done all the three drivers has been placed in the folder you don't need to add them into the build path okay don't add them into the build path so you just need to add the libraries into the build path not the resources okay okay all the setup is done no more setup is required now Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.